How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video. It is Sunday 10 a.m. and it's time for I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, check out U7 Buy, link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Now this will be the last episode we do using FootWiz, FootBin, FootHead links as we're going to have the early access coming out on Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember which day it is. If you guys could send in your HD screenshots of your teams now, for I rate your teams going forwards, that would be fantastic. That is going to be the format then for the rest of the year in terms of episodes. So we're going to start off with Shane Jackson's team. He's got uh, hoping to have around 20 to 30,000 coins to spend on my team. Any improvements? Let's have a quick look. I'll accept those cookies. Thank you very much, FootWiz. Um, looks like a decent setup. I like this Bruno Guimarez guy. Uh, the only thing that I, I, I've been saying with a lot of different teams is I know a lot of people want to play a 4-2-3-1 at the start of the game, right? And I'm seeing a lot of people putting in uh, players for Cam that have 72 passing, 69 passing, 74 passing. And I know obviously to start of the game, it won't make a huge difference. But if you can find those players that have a higher passing stat, even if you have to have to sacrifice a little bit of pace, like someone with 75 pace and 80 passing would probably be a better cam than Mateus Cunha, who's got 79 pace and only 72 passing, in my opinion. Um, but apart from that, like, it's a really good setup. But like I said, at the start of the game, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, but passing is always nice to have. You've got Alwar and Bruno, who are very nice players there. You've got Boyatha and Danea getting a lovely Belgian link, um, and obviously both on full chemistry as well. Uh, I think you can get a better right back than Lena. I think Mukiele looks better than him, and he's also also, non-rare could be cheaper. Uh, you could also go with... There's a few different options at right-back this year that aren't just the usual guys. Same with left-back. If you can uh, afford Kamara, I don't think he'll be really expensive. Uh, if you can afford to get him, he'll be a really decent upgrade in the team as well. But apart from that, the rest of it is a decent squad. Next up, we have got Lucas's team. How do you think I can improve this squad? Let's check it out, mate, and have a look for you. Ooh, okay. I'm loving the Fred links. Fred looks really, really good for FIFA 21. Um, he's definitely going to be a very, very, very used um, midfielder in FIFA 21. Just want to quickly say as well, in the last episode, we had some very questionable targeted ads. Just want to say these ads aren't in, like, like Footbin don't have uh, ads based on your history, like cookie ads. These are just random. All right. I don't, Search that sort of stuff. You have to look at the the last video to see what it was. Um, it's nothing terrible, but you know what I mean. Like I, it's just yeah, it was really random actually. Uh, anyway, we've got um we've got Everton to share it and Willian. Uh, I think Brazilian is going to be a very used nation this year, uh, especially for starter squads. I like the uh, the link here with Bruno Perez and Eder Militao. That looks really cool. Um, overall a decent looking squad. I think you can get a better goalkeeper though. Goalkeepers in the league, even the uh, the decent looking ones, usually aren't that expensive. I think you can go with someone a bit better there, uh, and you won't suck up too much of the coin balance. We have got Foot Lions team here. This is the team I am looking to buy. Would you make any improvements? If so, please let me know. Also, keep up the good work on your videos. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Really appreciate the support. Lord of the Ings does not even have Danny Ings in there. Why? Get Danny Ings in the squad. Um, no, but looking at this team, it looks like a decent start of Premier League team. Obviously, it's going to be quite expensive uh, as Premier League teams always are at the start of the game. It's just it's just the way the the way the road, really. It's just how it goes. Um, Calvert-Lewin looks like a decent start of Premier League striker as well. Um, the only thing with Calvert-Lewin and with Richarlison is they both lack agility and balance, which is a little bit unfortunate, but apart from that, look decent. Uh, you've got a really good midfield and attack here. It looks like a really solid squad, honestly. I wouldn't change anything if, if you can afford it go for it. it looks like a really solid squad um Alfie's team next hoping to get this for around 250,000 coins I'll play a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3-4 in game let's have a quick look you think this will be around 250k or you're hoping to get it for 250k it's going to be one of those. Like, I think you will be able to afford it for 250k, but I think Teller's price will possibly double if he goes to Man United, maybe even triple. I think as a Porto player, he's 15, 20k maybe, if that. It could be even cheaper. Uh, as a Man United player, that card's 40, 50, maybe 60k. Could be even more. Um, Coutinho, I think, won't be that expensive due to the really big pace downgrade. Party could be uh, a little bit of coins at the start due to him looking like a really good midfielder. Same with Marcus Lorente. Lucas will probably settle around 30, 40k, I reckon. Uh, Charleston probably maybe 10 to 15k due to the amount of people that I've seen that want to use him. Uh, Philip Ellison probably around 10 to 15k as well, just because there's not that many great left wing options in the Prem, and he obviously brings everything to the table. Uh, Ed Emiletau and Diego, uh, Diego Carlos as a partnership. This year, I don't think it'll be as expensive as last year. I think this year it'll probably be maybe like both of them combined 50k. 
maybe a bit more than that, maybe 60, 70 K. Um, Neto will be cheap. Capra will be cheap as well. I think he might just be able to afford it. Uh, but if Tellez goes to Man United, you might have to get a different left back. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we've got the next team now from Gente Lavrichon, who says, keep with the good work. Uh, would look to get your opinion on the team. Please also let me know how much you think the players or team will cost me. I got you, boys. And by the way, if you guys disagree with my pricing, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm not an expert. I've, I'm going based off of me playing FIFA for years and me kind of seeing other players in similar... Um, positions, nations, stats uh, from previous years. That's what I'm basing my assumptions and opinions of price on. Could be completely off. Probably am completely off, to be fair. And if I am, please let me know down below. I've done no research really into prices. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not really my forte. Uh, but this looks like a really good starter squad. I do like it a lot. Um, you've got some decent players in there. Drax looks like a really good starter. Cam uh, Sanchez looks really good. So does Delaney. Saar, Rusio. It looks like a really, really good squad. Uh, Price-wise, I'd say Lopez will be cheap. I think your two centre-backs will be quite cheap. Rusion might be upwards of 6 to 8k due to him being a really good link in the, in the Bundesliga. Sarah will be cheap. I think Sanchez will probably be like 3 or 4k. Drax will probably be like 1 or 2k. Delaney 1 or 2k due to the massive downgrade. He might be a little bit more. He might be 5 or 6k due to him having good stats but big downgrades typically make people or not big. Obviously it's not a huge downgrade but people seem to see downgrades and be like Oh, well, I don't want to buy him. It's just kind of psychological, I guess. Bailey, I think, won't be that much. Probably like 2, 3, 4K. Bendetto will be less than 1,000 coins. Uh, Rafinha will probably be like, again, 2, 3K maybe. Um, so I don't think it'll be ridiculously expensive. Um, it looks like a decent squad, a decent start team, to be fair. Uh, we have got uh, Yoda's Bruder. Nice. This is his squad. Uh, I am aiming to buy this for the first week. Let's check it out. Rashika looks like a really good squad. This this team looks nice. Uh, Rashika looks like a really good uh, starter card. The midfield looks solid. This Nkunku card looks really, really good. I like the look of him. I think with an engine or with an anchor or something like that, he'd be really, really good. Obviously, he's got really good uh, agility balance. He's got decent pace. He's got four-star, three-star. Um, I think that if you can up the defending stats, he'd be a really good box-to-box Delaney, obviously, despite my downgrade, still looks solid, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, Gunther and Lena, decent uh, fullbacks. Pizzek now a centre back, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, overall, a decent squad. Uh, a decent start of Bundesliga team. Definitely very nice. Um, we have got Cameron Reynolds' team now. Uh, week one, maybe, lovely content. Give me the good work. Hey, I appreciate that, bro. Let's have a quick look. So, you got Teixeira and Arnautovic, Oscar, Tayson, and Anthony. Fred is mainly in love by Maserawi and Ariola. Looks like a good squad. Uh, looks like a really good squad. Um, I'd say Arnautovic maybe lacks a bit of pace. I'm wondering if he can get somebody else at that right striker spot. I mean, everyone's Brazilian. You could maybe just fit a Brazilian in there or play Hulkov Kem uh, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe going down the Brazilian route might be the uh, the way to go. Uh, not that Arnautovic looks bad. Just I think he might be a little bit clunky, although not terrible. Um, the rest of it's solid. This is a really, really well-built squad, to be fair. This is a really nice-built squad. You've got great players and great positions there. We have got Kassitz. I'm so sorry if I just butchered your name. I do apologize. Uh, but this is his uh, offbeat starter squad. Let's check it out. I'm not entirely sure what offbeat means, but I like the links on the right and left. They're definitely good links that will be used at the start of the game. Uh, defense is solid. Uh, midfield is solid. Overall, a really good squad. I like the squad a lot. It's, it's just well built. It's a well structured squad. And I think that it will work really well and start the game. Uh, next up, we have got Kaizo's team. Look at this, mate. Same formation in game. Price prediction. Let's have a quick look. Hmm. I think that Lecomte won't be more than like 1.2k. Kimpembe might be 10 to 15k. He was last year. And I can see him following the same sort of pattern this year. Kamara, I think 3 or 4k. Diallo, 3 or 4k. I think this right back will be less than a thousand coins. Fernando will be less than a thousand coins. Wendell will be about a thousand coins. Paulini, I can see being uh, 10 to 12k, maybe 10 to 15k. Uh, but I could also see him being cheap as well. Jonathan will be 1 to 2k. Same with Ed Aaron. Uh, probably to share, I'd say, will be like 5 to 6k. Um, so overall, not not that expensive as a squad, but not the most cheap of squads, if that makes sense. Uh, it's still a really good squad, though. It looks like it worked really well in game. Uh, I like it. And obviously, the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. Good formation. I just recommend maybe playing Edair as your cam and Jonathan as your striker due to, uh, obviously, the uh, passing increase for uh, Edair than Jonathan. Obviously, I know you're playing him there for the chemistry anyway, but yeah, uh, that's what I'd recommend. Um, next one coming from Sam. Love the vid. So excited for you to join content. Hey, thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Uh, Rooney Tunes is his squad name. All right, check it out. Okay. I mean, I think that you can, like, obviously, you're getting the chemistry here with Everton. I think he can do better than Vinicius. 
Um, everyone else looks solid, though. I'm liking the look of everyone else. I'm thinking maybe, like, I wonder if you can get chemistry here anyway. I don't think you can. Maybe save up. If you can afford to get Regulon at the start of the game where you get lucky and hit him in a pack, obviously whack him at left back. Uh, but apart from that, the rest of the squad looks really good. I'm going to try buy out to start the game. I think he'd be really good this year. Um, obviously, Fred looks really good as well. It's a, it's a nice squad. You've got a really good squad going there. Um, Next one coming from Johnny. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go with for twelve thousand FIFA points. Okay, so spending twelve k points, most of your budget will probably be spent on Haaland here. I can see him being quite expensive due to the massive upgrade, good stats on the card, and obviously Haaland being a hyped youngster anyway. Um, I can see a few players being here or there, like a little bit extra, but I can't see it being massively expensive around Haaland. To be fair, um, it's a decent squad. I think you should be able to afford it with twelve k FIFA points. I'll be very surprised if you can't. Um, all right, next one is coming from Suleiman Engars. Uh, this is the Martial and Carrasco. Ooh, okay. I think you can go with a better right wing than Mason Greenwood. Obviously, I love Mason Greenwood. Guy is the GOAT, right? Fantastic player, fantastic youngster. But I think you can get a better player than Greenwood over there at that right wing spot. Apart from that, the squad is very meta everywhere else, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, we don't know the meta, but I would guess that it's very meta everywhere else. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, we've got Kai's team next. He says, uh, going to be grinding, so should get this in the first two to three weeks in min uh, and get some FIFA points as well. Okay. Shalom, Jackie. Shalom. All right, let's have a quick look. So you've got David Soraya in goal, Inigo Martinez and Mario Hermoso. Lala Roussillon, uh, Ikone. I think he had better, right? Honestly, I'd go with Sar at right back. He looks better than uh, than Kenny Lala. Diaby, uh, Alan Richarlison, Madison. Good squad. Uh, Well-built squad, to be fair. Uh, looks really solid. Will be a good squad for the weekend league. And I think, to be honest, that's where we'll call it. That one went quite quick. Uh, I didn't want to do too many on the starter squads because I think a lot of people are going to be uh, anticipating to use a lot of players. And obviously... No one actually knows how many coins are going to have at the start of the game, realistically. They don't know who they can afford and stuff like that. So it'll be better to uh, do this video when the early access comes out and get more of an idea of the kind of players people will have in their squad. But that's it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you later.